So here we are, about to board our next adventure. So I landed here in Chicago O'Hare last night from London. I'm about to really board a unique flight to Muskegon Airport. And you may ask, where the hell is Muskegon? Well, it's in Michigan, I'll give you that clue. Even though we're in Illinois at the moment in Chicago, we're gonna head up to Muskegon, Michigan on a Cessna caravan. Cessna caravan, yes. From one of the largest international airports in the world, we're gonna board a Cessna caravan. So yeah, hopefully, it'll be an interesting trip. Um, never flew Southern Express Airways before. I think it's one of, one of these government-funded routes. Um, but yeah, very cold day, as you can tell from my attire, to do this flight, so see you shortly. So I actually stayed at the uh, Sheraton Chicago O'Hare last night, really good. Free shuttle service, as you can see there. So that will take me into Terminal 3 today, uh, yeah, to get my uh, Southern Airways Express flight on the Cessna. We are in uh, Chicago right here, just been dropped off by the shuttle bus and wow is it cold this morning. Um, as you can see here, we're at Terminal 3 for Southern Airways, a flight to Muskegon. And let's go. Uh, this should be quite an interesting experience. So, just checked in, gone through uh, TSA quite seamlessly and uh, got a first sight of what we will be taking today, which is the Cessna Caravan up to Muskegon. She is parked among all these larger aircraft. It's going to be quite, uh, quite interesting on that and quite choppy, I imagine, this morning as well. Off to get some breakfast. So, uh, just outside gate F5, and um, prior to boarding, desperately want some breakfast. Uh, that's when you're in the US, loads of choices, but decided to go for a McDonald's this morning. A little bit different um, to the UK. I've got a McGriddle, Kashmir Hash Brown. and a, uh, a steak McGriddle, so let's give that a go. Wow, let's let boarding commence. Wow, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Wow, glad we've got two pilots here. Whoa. Uh don't fancy taking over this flight in, uh, in an emergency. Well, we're on our way, taxiing out of uh, Terminal 2. We're definitely uh, the smallest aircraft here. Oh, this is going to be uh, a bumpy ride. Um, but with two very young student pilots in charge, I'm sure there'll be no issues. Wow, well, engine's powered up, here we go. Me and my fellow two passengers. Let's head to Muskegon. now heading into Muskegon Airport. Wow, uh, snowy conditions down there and it's going to be quite an interesting landing as we uh, really are banking heavily here to the right. And, uh, and yeah, here we go. Let's get to Muskegon.
have it people, I survived Southern Airways Express. Uh, great job by those two young pilots, got me here in the middle of nowhere. Sorry. Lots of snow and uh, yeah, let's hope I can find out where my suitcase is. as well, is it? Oh, if you have a checked bag, it would be on the belt. Oh, okay, great, thank you. <laughs> wow, this is the arrival gate. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this uh, this beats London Heathrow. Wow, look at this. A few chairs. Nice plane house in outside. So the departures and the arrivals. Oh, two gates. Wow. So at this point, I'm kind of wondering where the hell am I? Is there going to be security? How quick is it to get through the airport? And look, it's literally like a small bus station. Where is my bag? So look, a very, very interesting flight um, from Chicago to Muskegon. Um, great, great flight, great plane, $130 a return, what, what, how can you complain really? Um, so yeah, very cold here, very quiet in the airport as well. Uh, one gate, one very small baggage carousel, and uh, and yeah, so very good flight, just over an hour. Um, and yeah, heading to uh, central Muskegon. So here we are in a very, very cold Muskegon, random place to uh, be flying into as per usual. Um, it's a little bit of snow as well as you can see. Yeah, it's starting to snow again now, so... Definitely got a little bit warmer. So yeah, so as you can see, a lot of snow. It's cleared up now. restaurants there's a subway over there so yeah living the dream of Muskegon for a few days before I get my flight back to Chicago